new band of rebels arose who were determined to carry the fight to Jerusalem. The Sicarii. To the Sicarii. Anyone who wasn't fighting the Romans was a collaborator and worthy of death. Many were slain every day, and the fear men were in was worse than the calamity itself. All right, Shalom, one, first and foremost, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. Name is only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Some give me Psalms 35 and 27. Uh, so we, we, we made the video on Cassidy. Everybody remembers that. Two videos on Cassidy. Second one having to do with how uh, Deacon Akkad Goyim of our, of our camp um, told him to make a song about Yahweh Shai. He said, you cannot make a hit record about God. Everybody remember that. We did a video on it. Um, we mistook the woman in the video for Amber Rose. Turns out she wasn't Amber Rose, but the point still stood. Um, so he said that you can't make a hit record about God. Weeks later, somebody defied that and made a hit record about God, about the most I call Yah, which was Kendrick Lamar. I want to say Yah was at 38 on the charts. So he literally made a hit record about Yah. He literally defied what that coward said in his statements. He's over here trying to rap about the same old stuff he's been rapping about as long as we've known him. And here's somebody comes who comes with diversity and, you know, puts out a message about us being the Israelites on a grand scale. And he tops the charts. And everybody sung the praises of this record, Esau included, not even real, not even knowing what's going on, just the way the spirit worked on it, right? So let's get to the book of Psalms 35. Go ahead. Wasn't it point? the entire album on, on the top 100? Yeah, the entire album was top 100. So he had about, what, three records about the most high on that on that album? And all of them were top 100 records. Meanwhile, Cassidy had a top 100 record in seven, eight years. No, no, no. In like more than, yeah, about seven, eight years. No, about 10 years. It's been 10 years since he's been on the charts. Meanwhile, this dude got his old, whole album to go on the charts, doing exactly what this guy said he wouldn't do. But he knows the truth. Cassidy been knowledgeable of the truth longer than Kendrick Lamar had. But we see that. So somebody give me that in Psalms. Well, the song, chapter 35, verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that fa that favor my righteous cause. Yay. That's 27? Yeah. Okay, so like you're reading it. I'm sorry. Uh, Psalm 35 and 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad. Uh -huh. That favor my righteous cause. That do what? That favor my righteous cause. Favor my righteous cause. The message that Kendrick Lamar put out on his album, it favored the righteous cause of the Most High, the awakening of the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, and calling them to repent and be converted and keep the law, statutes, and commandments. All of that came on his albums, right? Period. Read. Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. Let them magnify the Lord. He made a song called Yah, magnifying he or him, which is what Yah means in the Hebrew, which is a, 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 a an abbreviated uh, a word for the Most High's name, Yahweh. Read on. Which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. He has what? Pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. But Most High has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Because, Kendrick Lamar, Went and did those songs to glorify the Most High and propagate the truth. The Most High had it to where all of his songs made the charts. That was him. Uh, uh, what does it say? The the prosperity of his servant. Of his servant. Come. The, that's he made his servant to prosper. Most High made his servant to prosper. One that was willing to serve him and serve his cause and to let blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians know that they are the Israelites of the Bible and they got to keep the laws, the commandments of the Bible. Cassidy said you can't make a hit record about God. The most high God made you look like a damn fool by doing what he did. You see what I'm saying? By doing exactly what you said was impossible. Doing it on a higher level than you have ever done it. Because anytime you ever try to give praise and glorification to the true names, you cover it up. You delete it. You hide it. All right? You put your candle under a bush or something. Give me that as well. Right? And then also give me Mark 8 and 38. We mark eight and thirty eight somebody. 
book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 15, uh -huh. it says, Neither do men light a candle. Neither do men light a candle. That's the light. Read. And put it under a bushel. And that's what you've done. Cassidy, you've lit a candle. You have been given the light. You have been enlightened. You know the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You know you're a Hebrew Israelite. Yet you took that light and you hid it under a bushel. But Kidra Lamar did the op opposite, so the Most High made sure he topped the charts. Meanwhile, you haven't seen the charts in a decade, man. Read. But on a candlestick, and it and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. All that are in the house of the black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. Our job is to enlighten them, period, as we were enlightened by the men that enlightened us. That is our job. That is our assignment. That is our purpose through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So if you're doing anything short of that and you have the light, what you have done is put a bushel over your light. What you have done is missed the mark. What you have done is failed the Most High God and failed your people, right? Who got marked? Okay. Eight. eight and 38. Go ahead. Book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 38. Uh -huh. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me uh -huh. and of my words. That's right. In this adulterous and sinful generation. Read on. Of him also shall the son of man be ashamed. So guess what? Cassidy wants to be ashamed of the, of the most high, ashamed of his son. Don't worry, his son and, his, and the most high, they're going to be ashamed of him. At least he repent and stop being ashamed and stop being afraid and stand up for what's right for once in his damn life. Then and only then will they not be ashamed of you. But as of right now, they are ashamed of you, man. All right? So finish that. When when he cometh in the glory of his father uh -huh. with the holy angels. You see that? Meaning you won't be saved, man. You will get destroyed. That's what that means, right? 